Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make a little desktop organizer, um, sort of like a little basket with some holes in it. It's quite a fun little exercise. But before we get into today's video, have a look down in the description. There's a link to a Udemy course I created, a lot of great content that doesn't feature on my YouTube channel. There's a coupon, a discount coupon there. So follow the link and check it out. Let's get into today's video. We'll start this off by creating a sketch on the top plane. I'm gonna do a center point rectangle. So I'll just push S, S for the shortcuts menu and type in center and we'll select their center rectangle. And I'll snap that to the origin and we'll drag it out 100 by 200 millimeters. So there we've got our rectangle, but I want a few uh, fillets on the edges. So I'll select the fillet tool and I'll select my corners, all four of them. There we go. And that's a 20 millimeter radius. That's perfect. Then we're going to do an offset. I'll offset from here, go five millimeters. And then another offset, three millimeters. You'll see now why we're we doing these. Um, finish sketch. I'm going to push E for extrude, or you can select it up there. We'll select all three of these profiles. I'm going to go minus four. So that's going to be the thickness of the base of our little desk organizer. Then we're going to extrude again, select our sketch and up there, we're going to go, let's try hundred millimeters. A hundred looks good. I'm going to make this a new body. Just makes it easier when we add a bit of color to it, we can apply it to the whole body. Okay. So there we've got the body of it and we need to make some holes in it. But first I want to put a little lip around the edge. So I'll create a sketch, I'll select this plane. I'm gonna slice it and just push P so we can get these. And then I can make a little center line, L for line tool. I'm gonna change this to a construction line. So click on it and push X or you can select over there. Now I wanna have a line going up. We'll make that three millimeters and we'll have that same line going down three millimeters. Now this is going to be sort of a double triangle. I'm going to go horizontal vertical. We'll select that point with that. Now these should be equal. Let's double check. I'll select the equal constraint there and it's over constraint. Yes. So they are equal. Um, now we're going to mirror this. I'll select the mirror tool. We'll select these two lines and our mirror line will be this center line there. And there we go. So finish sketch. Now what we can do is we can do a sweep along path. I think I want to make this a little bit bigger. So let's go four millimeters and four millimeters. Finish sketch. Now we will go create sweep. We'll select these two profiles and we'll select the sweep path as this outer path there. It's going to be a new body. Finish sketch. So there we've got that lip, we've got the main body and then the base. But how are we going to put some holes in there? Let me show you. So create sketch. I'm just going to select this plane over here. I'll slice it so I'm working inside and L for line tool, go up here. So that doesn't matter how long that is. I'm just gonna change it to construction by clicking on it and pressing X. Now we're gonna do some circles. So I'll select our center diameter circle there. I'll snap it to that line. I'll make this eight millimeters. Now I wanna pattern this. So I'll go rectangular pattern. We'll select our object as that. The direction as that and just drag it up and we can select how many we want. So I think six will be good. Okay. 
finished sketch. Now we can extrude these through. So what we're going to do is select extrude and we're going to select each of these profiles. We could have done it differently and done a extrude on one and then pattern that extrude. But there's always more than one way to do a thing. I'm going to change the direction to two sides or actually symmetric. So now we can see that holes going through both sides there. And that's the start of our holes in the frame. Now we're going to do another pattern. So create pattern and rectangular pattern. We're going to select a feature. So instead of bodies, this is going to be features. Object will be this extrude. Axis will be that axis there, the X axis. And it is going to be symmetric. So as I drag it out, we can see it's symmetric. So since this is symmetric, we need to have an even number of them. I'm just going to grab, it, drag it to the edge there. And yeah, 80 looks good. And 9. So OK. Now you can see we've got our little holes in the basket there. We're going to repeat that step or similar to that step on this plane over here. Let me slice it. I want to turn this sketch on so I can see these. And I'm going to P or project. I'm going to select these so I can use them to draw my circles. If I had taken the measurements, we could have done that, um, done a pattern, but I'll just draw a circle for each one. So remember that's eight millimeters. We'll do that for each one. Just a few more to go and then we're there. Once we've got that, we're going to repeat the same steps as we did in the previous one and we'll extrude it through and then we'll do a pattern. Finish sketch. Now E for extrude. We'll select all of these and it's going to be symmetric. Now as I drag it out, we can see it goes through. Okay, so now we've got most of our holes. We're going to again go to create, select pattern, rectangular pattern, re pattern in a feature, we'll select that extrude, axis will be our Z axis, and it's going to be symmetric. So let's now zoom in, kind of where we're going to put this, up to that line looks good, and that looks good, so five. So now we've got fairly evenly distributed. I didn't measure that distance versus these. Um, I think it's a bit closer, but that's not a problem. What we can do now is get a isometric view there. I'm going to turn off my sketches and push A for appearance. So I'm wanting to change this. So I like these anodized colors. So type that in there. We've got these anodized blue. So I'm going to drag this onto this body. And then let's see what else we got. I think we'll just go with the white for the rest of it. So right click on this one that's up there, edit, and we'll make that white. Okay. And maybe we should check that on the base as well. Oh, it is on the base. Okay, cool. So that is our little uh, basket thing. You can see how we use the pattern tool and uh, managed to get these holes in here. If it was a circular, um, if this was a circle, we could have done it with uh, a circular pattern and just drawn one set with one extrude. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget to check out the Udemy course. The link is in the description. Till next time, bye.